With its latest re-release, fighting has brought itself back to my attention. I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't the biggest fan of fighting with the other two releases. I don't know, I just felt like you died too quickly and that support classes served no purpose. But in this latest release, damage for everything has been lowered, practically fixing most of the game's problems for me. So I've been playing it literally every chance I've gotten. And of course, I've been taking note of the game's lore. Because yes, fighting does actually have lore. The problem is, is that the lore is kind of hard to come by or is only mentioned on the wiki. So today, I'm going to try and piece together the lore of fighting, together with you guys. If we can do this now, then in the future it'll be easy to make theories. Speaking of theories, I plan on making a theory by the end of this video. So think of it as like kind of a double special. Half of it's going to be lore, and the other half is going to be the theory. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So let's start with some general knowledge to know. In fighting, the lobby is the center of crossroads, and each of the characters hail from its regions. For example, Sword and Medkit are from the Lost Temple region and Biograft and Hyperlaser from the Blackrock region, and so on. It's implied that the four regions were all locked in a long war of sorts a long time ago, one that only stopped recently. We know that some sort of armed conflict happened thanks to Zuka, who lost his arm. Some remnants of this war are, are the lingering hostility between Blackrock and the Playground region, however, as told on the wiki. As of now, that's pretty much all we know about the lore so far. There was a war in the past, and now it's ended. I could even just end the video right here, but something's nagging me. There's just one little detail that is leading me to believe that Blackrock is still trying to cause another war, and this time, all the crossroads may be in danger. Let's jump into the theory. So let me explain. So we both know that Bioraft and Hyperlaser are from the Blackrock region, and not only that, but we can assume that they were made by them recently. This can be proven by one of Medkit's lobby dialogues, which reads, my my, Blackrock is creating robots now? Showing that A, Blackrock has never dabbled in robotics before, and B, Biograph is a recent development. He was created very recently. But why? Well, he sure wasn't made for the fun of it. You don't just give someone laser swords for the lols. We can assume that that hyperlaser is robotic as well, or at least semi-robotic due to his attire, helmet, and general lack of personality. And once again, we have this technologically advanced robot thing that was created by Blackrock, likely to kill. While all the other fighters use stuff like slingshots and radios, Blackrock's fighters are using future-grade technology and weapons of mass destruction. And if you don't think that's proof enough of Blackrock plotting an invasion of Crossroads, you'd be sorely mistaken. I think it's no secret to anyone that fighting is partly inspired by Splatoon 2, what with the festivals, Dom and Valk, and the third-person aspect. But one thing Splatoon is known for is its pretty whack lore and storyline. In the story, DJ Octavius, after suffering a defeat, creates an army of robots for his Arctarian army to invade Ingopolis. Now doesn't that sound awfully familiar? That's right. I think G, when making the story for his own game, is going to take some more inspiration from Splatoon. I mean, all the pieces are already there. So come on GB and Bogio, make it happen. But anyways, that's all I've got for this one so far. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.